Hello YouTube, my name is Captain Darren and my amateur radio call sign is N4VFR. In today's video, I'm going to show you my setup for my 80 meters and 40 meter dipole. Actually, fan dipole. Alright, here's my setup. I have two top rails. And I have an inch and a quarter PVC pipe to reinforce those. And uh, I believe my top ends right about here somewhere. So the top portion is just PVC, and that's an inch and a quarter. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spray paint it to a camouflage paint, and I'm also going to add this eyelet for the top so I can lower and raise the. Uh, 80 meter 440 fan dipole okay I got the measuring tape attached and I'm just going to show you what the uh, actual height right here it's 26 feet 10 inches but remember just short of under 27 feet but I need to drill a hole here straight through so I can attach my eyelet all right, this is where I'm at now. I got my fan dipole connected to the uh, 1 1 ballon. I got the mast, the 27 foot section, wedged up against the, the house there on the U bolts all the way to the top. So I'm getting ready to hoist the, the um, 1 and 1 ballon to the top. I'm almost to the top. Okay guys, here's the change. Instead of a 80 and 40 meter fan dipole, I took off the 40 meters. I ran out of line so I couldn't tie it off. And all I have it set up now is only for 80 meters. I tuned the, the antenna elements to um, a frequency of 3.9 megahertz. So the formula to calculate was 468 divided by your frequency, uh, 3.9 megahertz. That comes out to 120 feet long. Then you divide that by two, and that's going to give you the length for each leg of your dipole, which is 60 feet. So about an hour of lowering and raising each leg to, to tune for the SWR that I want. Um, I had to cut off two feet on each side and I had 15 inches of fold back and all I did was twisted that wire right back onto itself. Okay this is my temporary setup. I'm using this coax right here and that's connected to my air which I don't have it connected right now. Alright that's a 75 feet of uh, I think it's a LDR 400. Alright, so this is my temporary mast that I um, put up, camouflaged it, right now the coax is just dangling, not tied off. Um, this rope here, this is the excess rope, so I can lower and raise the antenna from the top, okay. One leg goes towards the trees okay <laughs> I don't know if you're gonna see it but it's over here somewhere I can't even see it in the camera but the uh, the dog bone is over there and the rope comes down here and it's just temporarily tied off to the fence that's just one side now the other leg comes to this side And it's going to come right here to this dog bone here. And it's just tied off to the fence. So again, uh, this is a temporary setup. 
and uh, I'm going to test it out tonight and then tomorrow I'll have to take it down. All right, let's take a look at the SWRs for uh, the frequency I want was uh, 3.9 megahertz, which is already there selected. Put the check button and do the SWR sweep. And uh, it's a minimum of 1.4 on my 3.9 megahertz. And then I can zoom in. Oh, that's to zoom out. There it is. Okay, at 3.9, the SWR is at 1.14, and I'm, and I'm at the 51 ohms. That's pretty good. We're currently uh, on 80 meters. I'm going to put out a, a tone. The SWR reading is down here, and the power meter is right here. Make sure I'm back to SWR. Okay, I'm going to key up now. You see the SWR is not moving at all. I'm putting out 100 watts with SWR not moving. That's very good. And notice that the antenna tuner is not tuned. So if I were to tune it up, now I have a white light here and the antenna, it's already tuned anyway. So I didn't really need it. So again, that's a perfect match. Tuner is off. Perfect. All right, so let me see if I can get contact with these guys. I'm going to turn up with the volume so you guys can hear it. November 4, Victor Foxtrot Romeo. Yeah, you guys hear me? Uh, Captain Darren here in Jacksonville, Florida. Call is N4VFR. I just put up a 80 meter dipole. I'm just using barefoot on the 7610. How do you guys copy? Okay, uh, very good. Yeah, your uh, S9 plus 20, very good signal. Um, 73, I appreciate it. Y'all, y'all have a good evening. And uh, and the guy there having that gumbo it sounds delicious. Sounds like a good one. I'm gonna have spaghetti tonight. 73 is from Jacksonville and 4 VFR. Oh, okay. QSL on the Delta Loop. That's uh, you need. Don't you need a lot of uh, property on that? I've got it. Ah, uh, very good on you. Good on you. I've got 1.6 acres and uh, and I still got way a lot of room left in the It's only 270 foot of wire. Roger, Roger. I, I barely can fit this um, 80 meter dipole here. I'm running out of property. It's like I'm running over to the ne neighbor's yard. Well, like I said, I got 1.6 acres. All right, brother, check here. Catch you later. T Mo Golf 4, NDS Tango Delta, up here in West Tallahassee. Okay, my friend. 73 is from Jacksonville and 4 VFR. Well, that's a wrap. My 80 meter dipole minus the 40 meter to create a fan dipole. If you like my videos, please consider to subscribe and leave me a comment, a like. I like suggestions. My name is Captain Darren and my call sign is N4VFR. Until next video, have a great day.